It's the car, right? Chicks dig the car. Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Vehicle Classic TV Series Batmobile. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. I have to move all this out of the way because this box is quite large so yeah here we have the front of the box you have the batmobile you have the included batman figure batman classic tv series batman classic tv series batmobile on this side of the box we got some schematic -y stuff and a brief rundown of the features of the batmobile itself on this side of the box we got more schematic -y stuff on the top of the box we have more schematic -y stuff and a convenient carry handle and on the back of the box which might be the front of the box and the front of the box that might be the back of the box i don't know the same picture on either side and on the bottom you just have warning please don't eat anything in this box that could be very very bad for you and that's basically it for the packaging so let's get all this back into frame now we have that. Um, included in the packaging is your instruction booklet, which gives you a rundown of the features of the Batman figure and of the Batmobile itself, as well as their other releases. There you have that. And you also get this nice soft cloth here to uh, polish off all the, the uh, fingerprints on your Batmobile, which there are already a ton of fingerprints on mine. But hey, at least I can... At least I can polish them away. Hooray! There you go. <laughs> Get your Batmobile all nice and shiny like. And it even says Hero Cross on it. Oh, that's precious. That's precious. So, there you have that. So, moving right along, let's take a look at the included Batman figure. This is included with uh, the vehicle itself. So, here is Batman. As seen in the classic TV series from 1966, starring Adam West, and this is totally Adam West Batman here. Um, very cool. Uh, nicely done. You got the little white eyebrows there, the white around the nose. Got the black in the front there, the blue cowl. Very nicely done. He has this weird, like, pouty mouth. I don't know. He's like, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight crime today. Mm -mm, no, no. No, 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 that's what it looks like to me, I don't know. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Walter. If, if you've ever seen Jeff Dunham, you know Walter. He kind of has Walter's mouth, like, mm, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fat crime yourself, I don't know. Anyway, so I have that. Hey, coming down to the suit. The suit is very basic, as was the costume in the series. This has the bat symbol right there, and all gray. Got the utility belts. Right there with the gold buckle. Got the gloves. Hands. He does look like he's wearing a, a, a bat diaper. <laughs> Again, it just kind of looks like, just like the uh, the Superman I reviewed a while back, it just kind of looks like a little kid, you know, cosplaying as Batman. He just has a big bat diaper on. Um, <laughs> down to the legs there. And down to the boots. Again, not a whole lot of detail, but it, it's, it's accurate. So yeah, that's... And coming back to the cape, it's a nice cloth cape, and they do have the uh, the bendy wires on either side here, so you can pose the cape as you wish. And um, like I usually say with capes that have bendy wires in them, uh, just don't mess with them too much, because after a while that will weaken and it will eventually snap. So don't mess with it too much. Make this wire last as long as possible. So, you know. Keep the fiddling with the cape to a minimum, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get all wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a good ways, look down, very good ways. Again, side-to-side -side movement there for rotation, although he does kind of want to take the cape with him. Oops, one of his ears fell off. Arrgh! That's supposed to happen. We'll get into that in a little bit. Hey! Keep your ears on, man. Keep your ears on. There you go. <laughs> Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do have, whoop, you can pop his hands off very easily. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. Elbow bends, well, about 90 degrees of bend right there. And as you can see, the <laughs> wrists are on ball joints. 
They do have a swivel. These hands pop off very, very easily. Something to be wary of. I mean, it's not detrimental or anything, but, yeah, you know, just be careful with it. Um, and the worst is on a ball joint also. You can see it in there, so you can kind of get that waist kind of wibbly-wobbly whenever you want, although in certain positions you're just going to have that big gap there, which is very unsightly, so, you yeah. know. There's that. Legs can go uh, forward that far, can go back that far. Outward movement that far. You do have a thigh swivel. You have pretty much 90 degrees of knee bend right there. As you can see, this is a separate piece. So this is just kind of just, just going to kind of roll around on you. Um, and the feet are on ball joints. You can move it up, move it down, and you have some pretty good ankle tilt there. So there you have that. Now he does have a light up feature. Um, unfortunately, the batteries are not included, and I don't have the batteries, so I can't show it off. So sorry. Um, but the way to work the light up feature is you remove his ears, and his ears are what are holding the two halves of his head together. So you pop those off, and then you can pop off the back of his head, and right there is where you install the batteries, and there's your on/off switch. And that's how you work that feature, but unfortunately I don't have the batteries for it. Sorry. And they're not included, which frankly I think they should have been, but oh well. Just pop his ears back on. There you go. So, there you have a little Batman figure. And just for a quick comparison, here he is with the uh, Justice League Superman. And they just look like two babies cosplaying with their big diapers. No, that's just cute. No. <laughs> and that face doesn't help either it just looks like he just pooped himself like mm, mm. anyway that i don't know i don't know <laughs> oh yes he does include some accessories he uh he does include alternate hands um you can see here uh i have the uh more open hands on him right now um i use these to have him grip the steering wheel because those are just easier for me um he does have hands that have uh, more of a closed grip. And I'm sure these are probably a lot better for gripping the steering wheel, but these hands just are, are they just make life, life easier to use these hands <laughs> for him to hold the steering wheel. So you have that, and you also get a pair of closed fists right there. So you can pow and biff and bang. So there you go. So there you have that. So moving on to the Batmobile itself. Um, this is a nice piece, and as you can see, it is quite, quite large. Very large piece, and um, I always love this Batmobile. This is definitely one of my favorite Batmobiles. I've always loved it. Holds a special place in my heart, and uh, this is actually a, a very, very cool piece. I'm just getting close here so you can see the details. You actually do have a nice grill right up front here, as well as the lights. Nice red trim right there. As you can see, nice and glossy. Nice glossy black. You can see here this bit here, which is done in gold. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the, uh, the bat antenna, so they can listen to the bat radio. I don't know. <laughs> you got the rims chromed out with the, uh, with the bat symbol there. All right, coming down the side, you can see the bat symbol right there on the door. And again, you got that red trim going all the way down the side here. And coming to the back, you got that big rear thruster. You even got the pouches for the parachutes. When it needs to emergency brake. That's the license plate right there. Bat 1, Gotham City. See some nice silver paint, as well as red. Got some chromed exhaust pipes right up there. Got some more silver paint going all around these windshields right there as well as a lot of silver paint right up in here and you can open up the doors both doors open and we can take a closer look inside let's bring this down a bit and you can see the steering wheel right there with some silver as well as the dashboard pretty nice detail in there you also do have a bat phone and you can take it off of the hook here, there you have your bat phone, 
<laughs> now this isn't a spring, this is actually a wire, so I would definitely recommend not stretching this out because if you do, it's kind of a pain in the butt to kind of get it coiled back into shape properly, so you know, don't don't stretch this out. But um still cool you get a little bat phone. And this just holds on via a magnet right there. It's just whoop. It stays right on, nice and secure. Got the lever right there, you got the bat fire extinguisher. Again, some more silver details picked out. Right there. Very cool. Even the pedals are molded in. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but there are actually three pedals right there. So, there you have that. And you have the light up top right there, done in silver. It was nice. Glossy red. And these bits picked on red. It's a little red right there. And yeah, very, very cool. <laughs> I really do like it. Um, the steering wheel does actually turn the wheels, which is pretty cool. Not too far, but still pretty cool that the steering wheel does function. So you have that. And uh, yeah, um, a lot of die cast in this. So this thing has legitimate heft to it. This thing is quite heavy. A lot of die cast in it. So... There you pretty much have everything uh, superficially <laughs> about this Batmobile. That's how it looks. But what does it do? It actually does quite a bit. Now, if you come back here to the trunk, you open this up, and you have a control panel back here. Because this also has Bluetooth connectivity, which is pretty, pretty cool. So... That means you can listen to your music. You can even take phone calls on this. You can use it as a speakerphone as well. And you can see in here you have your rewind, fast forward, pause, stop. That is the on-off switch. Uh, button for the lights. That's the button you push to uh, take your phone calls. Uh, volume down, volume up. And uh, we're going to show off how this works right now. So we'll just bring this down a little bit. So you just want to press the power switch right here. The little light will go off. You get that little confirmation beep that the Bluetooth is active. And once you do that, you can take whatever mobile device. There are a couple ways you can connect your mobile device. Now, you do have a line in. I don't know if you can see it here, but there you go. You have a line in jack. So if you just have you know, just the regular kind of, you know, headphone jack. You can plug that in, plug this in, boop, right there. And we can, I'm not going to play any music on this because I don't want this video to get claimed, but you can listen to your favorite YouTube videos, like mine. <laughs> Turn up the volume. The volume goes up pretty loud. It's too cold for words. Too cold for words. Too cold, too cold. <laughs> so that's one way you can use the speaker function. So we'll just unplug that. There you go. That's just a confirmation noise telling you that you've disconnected. And it also does have a card slot there for a micro SD card. So if you just have your music on a card, you can just load that in, listen to it like that. Or you can just use the Bluetooth on the device itself. Uh, there we go. And you'll see right there, we have our Bluetooth on, and it will say HMV001 Batmobile. Right there. You can see we're already connected to it. So again, we can just pipe the video through. Let's rewind it a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
I can't get words together anymore. I can't get words together because it's too cold. It's too cold for words. Too cold for words. It's too cold for words. Too cold for words. Too cold, too cold. Too cold for words. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway. <laughs> So you can see the speaker does get pretty loud. I think it can go louder than that actually, but I don't wanna I don't wanna blow out my uh, my microphone here. But um yeah, or maybe we should. This might hurt your ears. If you're listening to this on headphones, you might want to turn them down a bit. It works together, it's too cold. Oops. Play. Too cold for words. It's too cold for words. Too cold for words. Too cold, too cold. Too cold for words, yeah! 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 Oh, God. <laughs> it gets pretty loud. Um, depends what you're listening to, but uh, it does get pretty loud. So, there you have that. And like I said, you can't take your phone calls on this. You can't use this as a speakerphone, so when you're taking a call, you just push this button right here with the phone on it and you can use it as a speaker phone which is pretty cool now this does have a rechargeable battery and one thing that does suck about this set is that it does not include an AC adapter to charge the battery um, that I feel is a big misstep uh, to sell you something with a rechargeable battery and not give you the means to recharge said battery um, not a big fan of that uh, but you know if you if you own a PS4 then you can use the cord you use to uh, to recharge your controller to charge your Batmobile because it does use the same connection right here again I don't know if you can see it right there the micro USB that's the kind of connection it uses and that's the kind of connection a PS4 controller uses so you can plug this in right there plug that in and I'm assuming you can plug this into your computer and charge it that way but if you don't want to do that you can just take you know any of these uh, AC adapters that connect to a USB like with your iPhone or iPad or whatever and take it plug it into the wall so there's that way um, but yeah I, I, I shut up <laughs> don't beep at me but um, oh, now the cops are after me the cops are coming Cops are coming. This is a registered vehicle. Registered vehicle. I own this. I didn't steal this car. Okay. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. I definitely feel like it's a. It was a big misstep to not include an AC adapter so you could charge the battery on this thing. I mean, granted, it would have bump the price up but I, I just think it would have been you know the right thing to do and honestly what you should have done is include a charger for this um but there you go um one last feature i actually almost forgot to show off here you do have some led lights in here you just press this button right here Boop. and the tail lights will glow and the headlights will glow. You get four bright LEDs in there. That's pretty cool. So, there you have that. Right there. And again, makes for a nice display. So, there you go. And the last thing we should do is actually have Batman sitting in here and driving his Batmobile. Let's just get him into position. Get him sitting down in here. Come on. Get in there. Get him down. Get him down. There you go. Get your cape. Get your cape in there. Get your hands in there. Um, the, oops, his hand came off. <laughs> the hands on this figure pop off really, really easily. And that is one thing that is a bit annoying. There we go. Keep your hands on. There you go. Tuck your cape in. 
There we go. We have Batman driving his Batmobile off into action, into adventure. Off to defeat those dastardly criminals. So there you have that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much everything with this Batmobile. Um, very cool piece, I will say. Definitely a cool piece. Um, it's not cheap. Definitely not cheap. This will run you $253 plus shipping. Um, I don't know if Herocross um, offers free shipping once you pay a certain amount. So, you know, you'll just have to check with them. But, yeah, $253 is the asking price for this set. Is it worth it? Um, that's for you to decide. Uh, like I said, you know, my main gripe with this is that it does include the, it does not include the AC adapter so you can recharge the battery. I just think that's something that should have been included. It would have been nice if they included batteries for the light-up feature in the figure itself. Would have been nice. Again, would have bumped up the price, but I think it just would have been the right thing to do considering that you're already spending this much. Um, but yeah. Whether or not this is worth the asking price is totally up to you. Me, personally, I would not spend $253 on this. <laughs> but again, that's just because I'm not into these kind of figures. I don't collect these kind of figures, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this. And I definitely, even if I did collect these kind of figures, I doubt seriously I would spend this much for, for this Batmobile. But again, that's just me, your taste, your budget. Totally up to you, your decision, but there you go. So, if you would like this or any of Hero Cross's other offerings, you can buy direct from them. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. You can also pick these up at BigBadToyStore.com. I will post a link to their site in the description down below as well. And you can also check out my Hero Cross playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Vehicle Classic TV Series Batmobile, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Ah, another beautiful day in Gotham City. Oh! There you are! I finally found you! What? Who... Who are you? I'm you from the future! What? What? How, how... How... How did you get here? We're a genius, remember? We have gadgets for everything! Oh, right, 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 right. Why... Why... Why are you talking like that? I have to! I have to disguise my voice so people don't figure out my secret identity! That's weird. I never felt the need to disguise my voice. Well, people were a lot dumber in your time. I mean... Ask Wonder Woman! She doesn't disguise her voice, she doesn't even wear a mask, and yet no one can figure out she's Diana Prince! It's baffling! But that's true. Yeah, she just puts on a tiara, lets down her hair, and everybody's like, Oh, hello, totally separate person! Where's that other person who was just standing here? Still trying to wrap my head around that. That's quite disturbing. But what about my sidekick, Robin, the boy Wonder? Oh, him? Oh, in my time, he's a little, um... Uh... Confusing. What? H how so? Well, in my time, uh, you want to know what Robin's legal name is? What? Robin? Wait, Robin's legal name is Robin? Yeah. Holy abandoned continuity. Yeah, and in my time, he doesn't say stuff like that either. Which is a good thing. Because I'd have to punch him in the throat. What? I, I would never attack my faithful sidekick. Oh, really? Yes. I swear. Swear on me! Hmm. Ah! Nice car, by the way. Mine's a tank.